In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to send DHT11 sensor data from an ESP01S Wi-Fi module to the Tangle using MQTT and mask authenticated messaging. A complete step-by-step -step guide how to send DHT11 sensor data from an ESP01S Wi-Fi module to the Tangle using MQTT and mask authenticated messaging can be found at this location. This step-by-step -step guide explains in detail how to install the ESP8266 packages how to install all the necessary libraries used by the Arduino sketches, how to install the Mosquito message broker on the Raspberry Pi, and finally, how to publish DHT11 sensor data to the MQTT broker, and how the sensor data is stored on the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging. I will only demonstrate this last step in this video. The source code used in this guide can be found at this GitHub page. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. I've already installed Mosquito. Mosquito is an open source message broker that implements the MQTT protocol. Also installed on the Raspberry Pi is Node.js. This is the breadboard power supply module. The voltage output can be set to 3.3 volts or 5 volts. Set it to 3.3 volts. These two connectors are for voltage input. And the voltage input can be between 7 and 12 volts. This is the breadboard. Push button. 10 kilo ohm resistor. The FTDI adapter, this is the ESP01S Wi-Fi module, and this is the DHT11 sensor module, it measures the temperature and humidity. Now let's see how the FTDI adapter, ESP01S module and DHT11 module are connected to each other. This is the FTDI adapter, this is the ESP01S module and this is the DHT11 module. Let's start with the FTDI adapter. Only three pins are used, the transaction pin, the receiver pin and the ground pin. The ground pin is connected to ground. The transaction pin is connected to the receiver pin of the ESP01S module. The receiver pin of the FTDI adapter is connected to the transaction pin of the ESP01S module. The VCC pin is connected to 3.3 volt. The GPI0 pin is connected to ground. The reset pin is connected to the push button and the push button connects it to ground. The chip pull down pin is connected to 3.3 volts. The ground pin is connected to ground. The GPIO2 pin is connected to the data pin of the DHT11 module. The ground pin is connected to ground. And the VCC pin is connected to 3.3 volt. The 10 kilo ohm resistor is used as pull up on the DHT11 data line. This diagram is the same as this diagram with one difference. GPIO0 is connected to ground and GPIO0 is not connected to ground. When GPIO0 is connected to ground, the ESP01S module is in flash mode. When GPIO0 is not connected to ground, the ESP01S is in boot mode. You set the ESP01S in flash mode when you upload an Arduino sketch or firmware, and you set the ESP01S module in boot mode when you execute a sketch or firmware. In flash mode, 
press and release this push button before you upload an Arduino sketch or firmware. In boot mode, when you press and release this push button, the sketch or firmware is executed again. This is my test setup. This is the ESP01S Wi-Fi module. This module has two modes, a flash mode and a boot mode. If it is set in flash mode, an Arduino sketch or firmware can be uploaded to this module. If it is set in boot mode, the firmware or sketch is executed. First, we set the ESP01S in flash mode. An Arduino sketch is uploaded to the ESP01S Wi-Fi module using an FTDI adapter. This adapter converts the USB data to a TTL serial data and sends this data to the ESP01S module. The DHT11 sensor module is connected to the ESP01S module. After the sketch is uploaded, the ESP01S is set in boot mode and the Arduino sketch is running on the ESP01S module. The DHT temperature and humidity data can now be read. The ESP01S module sends this sensor data to the Raspberry Pi using MQTT over Wi-Fi. Please note, HTTP protocol is not used, but the MQTT protocol. On the Raspberry Pi, an MQTT broker is running and also a Node.js application. This Node.js application is an MQTT client, which subscribes to a specific MQTT topic. The sketch running on the ESP01S module publishes sensor data to this specific MQTT topic. When the Node.js application receives sensor data from the MQTT broker, this sensor data is processed and converted into a mask authenticated message object and sent to an IOTA node. The IOTA node does the proof of work and stores this data onto the Tangle. In this test setup, I'm using a BreadBot power module. This BreadBot power module is used to power the ESP01S module. The FTDI adapter has a VCC pin output, but I'm not using this pin because the ESP01S module requires too much current, which the FTDI adapter cannot deliver. And that is why I'm using a BreadBot power module. I will now quickly explain what the ESP01S Wi Fi module is what the purpose is of the FTDI adapter, and what MQTT is. This is the ESP01S Wi-Fi module. There are many other ESP Wi-Fi modules, for example, ESP02, ESP03, etc. In this tutorial, I am using the ESP01S. The ESP01S has a flash memory size of 1 megabyte. This is the flash memory. The maximum transmission distance is around 400 meters. But this distance can only be reached in the most perfect situation. In reality, this distance will not be reached. It depends on the number and types of obstacles between the module and its receiver and the position and orientation of the module with respect to its receiver. The length is 24.7 mm and its width is 14.4 mm. It has Wi-Fi capabilities. It requires an input voltage of 3.0 volt to 3.6 volt. The average operating current is 80 mA and it comes pre-programmed with an add command set firmware. If you upload an Arduino sketch, this firmware is erased. In the step-by-step -step guide, I will explain in detail how to upload an add command firmware to this module. But in this tutorial, I will not be using the add commands at all. I will not explain its purpose and its usage. The operating temperature is minus 20 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius. It is not breadboard friendly, which means this module cannot be attached directly to the breadboard. Use jumper wires instead. It has eight pins, as you can see over here, of those eight pins, only two are GPI ports. 
There are number GPIO0 and GPIO2. The ESP01S is not shielded and it has only one LED. This is the LED. This LED will flash blue when data is transmitted. This is the USB to TTL converter. To upload an Arduino sketch or firmware to the ESP01S module, an USB to TTL serial converter is needed. They are also known as USB TTL converters, USB FTDI converters, or FTDI adapters. FTDI stands for Future Technology Devices International, is a company who produces the most well-known USB serial converter chips. The USB TTL converter converts USB data signals to and from TTL level serial data. Serial data is transmitted one bit at a time at a specified data rate, for example 9600 bits per second, 115,200 bits per second, etc. This method of serial communication is sometimes referred to as TTL serial, meaning transistor-transistor logic. Serial communication at the TTL level will always remain between the limits of 0 volt and VCC, which is often 5 volt or 3.3 volt. A logic high, meaning 1, is represented by VCC, while a logic low, meaning 0, is 0 volt. MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Transport and is a published, subscribed, event-driven messaging protocol for constrained Internet of Things devices and low bandwidth, high latency or unreliable networks. MQTT enables messages to be pushed to clients. The MQTT broker is the central point and is in charge of dispatching all messages between the senders and the rightful receivers. Each client that publishes a message to the broker includes a topic into the message. Each client that wants to receive messages subscribes to a certain topic and the broker delivers all messages with the matching topic to the client. The client who publishes the data and the client who receives the data don't have to know each other. They only communicate over the topic. This architecture enables highly scalable solutions without dependencies between the data producers and the data consumers. TCP IP port 1883 is reserved for use with MQTT. TCP IP port 8883 is reserved for use with MQTT over SSL. In this tutorial, I have not implemented MQTT over SSL. This is the MQTT broker. This temperature sensor publishes its temperature to the MQTT broker under this specific topic. Clients such as Alice or Bob can subscribe to this specific topic. When the MQTT broker receives temperature under this topic, it pushes the temperature to the clients who subscribe to this topic. Here's a quick overview how it all works. Here's the ESP01S Wi-Fi module where an Arduino sketch is running. The DHT11 module is attached to the ESP01S and the running sketch reads the temperature and humidity data. This data is sent to the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi using the MQTT protocol. The Node.js application subscribes to the same topic as this sensor publishes its data using the same topic to the MQTT broker. When the Node.js application receives sensor data from the MQTT broker, it converts this data to a mask authenticated messaging object and sends this data to an IOTA node. The IOTA node does the proof of work and publishes the data to the IOTA Tangle. I have powered up the breadboard power supply and connected the FTDI adapter to my computer. I have already installed the GitHub DHT11 ESP01S project on my computer. I have loaded the DHT MQTT2 Arduino sketch in the Arduino IDE, as you can see over here. And I have already made all the relevant changes to this sketch, meaning the Wi-Fi ISSID and corresponding password, the MQTT server IP address, port, Username and password is also changed. Let's upload this sketch to the ESP01S module. Make sure the correct board is selected. 
and also the correct port is selected. Set the ESP01 module in flash mode. This jumper wire is connected to GPIO0 and connected to ground. If it is connected to ground, this module is in flash mode. Now press the upload button. The sketch is now uploaded. I have powered up the Raspberry Pi. Log into the Raspberry Pi. I've already installed the GitHub DHT11 ESP01S project. And I have made all the relevant changes to this JavaScript file. To start this Node.js application, after the upload is done, set the ESP01S module in boot mode. If this jumper wire is not connected to ground, it is in boot mode. Open a serial monitor. Make sure the baud rate is set to 115,200 baud and select this option. Press and release the push button. As you can see over here, the temperature and humidity data is displayed. It does this every 30 seconds. In a Raspberry Pi terminal, the sensor data is converted into mass authenticated messages objects. Open a new Raspberry Pi terminal and go to the DHT11 ESP01S project. And let's see if you can retrieve sensor data from the tangle. Enter node mem underscore receive.js and paste the root, for example, this root. Paste the root. As you can see, it retrieves the sensor data from the tangle. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.